I want us to get a bit of motivation for why would we need dynamic dispatching. So let us recall the past work in our last few lessons. We've learned about the state monad, we've learned about the error monad, and, and in the last lesson we learned about the list monad. The difference between them is really what the operation is doing, but the interface is actually the same. So you can ha you have the same two patterns, one where you have a bind operator that is able to thread or combine two operations through two effectful operations. And we can do that in the state monad where we update the memory behind the scenes or the state uh, more generally. And in the error monad where we are essentially aborting computation once we found an error, would be this case. Uh, so we also have bind, and in the list monad where we are generating a list of, um, generating a list, iterating over our, all elements of a list, which is given in op1. So this is bind, and then we have another operator called pure, which just converts a non-effectful value to an effectful value. So the easiest, they're, it's always very easy to implement. So in the case of a state monad, what you're doing is basically convert your value to an EFF. So we take the state as a parameter and we provide it as the first um, field of EFF. The second field is the result. So that's what we're gonna set as the result. In bind, we just return the value as is. We perhaps might want to check and ensure that v is not false. And finally, with, mo with the list monad uh, converting something to, to the list monad is just converting it to a list that simply has one element. So the, the idea is could we have you know, that single notation, um, the do notation that would operate for all three of these without us having to copy paste the the do notation for each case. Wouldn't it be nice if we could have a sim a single um, a single do notation that would work for all three different implementations of Monad. So essentially what we would like to do is we have three two operators that have different implementations depending on what value we're giving. Right, so in an object-oriented programming language, this is usually represented as an interface. So you have an interface, an abstract interface, and you might have different implementations of the same interface. And what the interface is doing is kind of generalizing a common abstract pattern. In this case, it would be the monad interface, right? which has two methods, if you will. First one is bind, second one is pure. So how can we perform, how can we offer the same interface for three different implementations? So how can we avoid this copy pasting of our ma macro would be one side effect. So we're going to study two possible solutions. One, and the, perhaps the easiest one is just, if it's possible, we can just make the macro par parametric. And then we're going to see what that means and what that entails. The second idea is to use overloading, which is really the subject of this part of the generic dispatch, also known as dynamic dispatch. So yeah, in the next few videos, we're going to study these two options.